Here I am, so 3.51, still haven't slept yet, I literally just been uh, catching up on YouTube and stuff, and uh, once again, uh, my birthday was just last month, and since I spent a lot of money on Bud last month, I didn't get all my birthday stuff, so I saved the money, well, I didn't save it, it's just that I'm using my GST to cover <laughs> What I use on my birthday gift to be that, so it should be fine. Um, so yeah, like I said, for, uh, buying stuff online is, uh, you have to pay for shipping and all that stuff, so going to the store and actually getting it is so much cheaper, but sometimes you can't. And since I've been buying a lot of Freddy Cougar stuff, I was like, I have to get something for winter. <clears throat> so... Like I said, so I did get, uh, Freddy Krueger pajamas, which I'm wearing, and then I got the, uh, costume, and the shirt, and that was it from Spirit Halloween, on oh, the nails, and the keychain. So, it's kind of pricey, but not really, if you think about it, because the money that I'm saving, and all these things I've been wanting for, like, at least the past four or five years, I've just been putting it off, put it off, put it off, because I've been paying off debt from when I took in another cat, <laughs> and my ex, kind of, <laughs> he was only here for a few months, but still, that adds up, and then, so, <clears throat> I'm not completely debt-free, but I'm pretty much almost debt-free, um, so that's why, another reason why I'm kind of finally so sort of getting things for myself, and, like, I've been through a terrible year last year, like you guys know. <clears throat> I had to say goodbye to my three cats. And I just couldn't, even buying stuff was not helping me. And <clears throat> with all that grief and stuff like that. But now, since I'm finally past that to a point, and I don't go anywhere, I don't do anything. So, I spoil myself. So, yes, I spoil myself. But I spoil myself with clothes. <laughs> so now I got a pretty dress, I got a pretty shirt, and then I got the pretty pajamas. Now I just ordered last thing for my birthday, <laughs> and I keep saying last thing, but this is actually pretty cheap. So <clears throat> I got the Phantom of the Opera toque there. Uh, so I found it online for $24.99, and then packaging and shipping is uh, $5.50. So that's pretty good for... Uh, uh, too, because uh, anything 30 or under, because I was going to get the Twilight Zone one from Wish, but I'm not using Wish anymore, because I can't remember my passwords. <laughs> I can't get those codes anyways, the deals that I had, until I figured that out, but they didn't have a Phantom of the Opera one, and I've been looking for a Phantom of the Opera 2 since... At least probably four years. <laughs> That's cheap. Because they're all like $50 plus. There's like even one that I could get with the writing and stuff like that. I'm like, I'm not paying $50 for a freaking toque. <laughs> it's like, no. <laughs> so now I finally found something cheap. So like I said, at least when I buy things, I don't spend over $100 on one item. I buy multiple items and then they're kind of cheap. Like, this was, like, under $30, and it's, uh, pajamas, so I need new pajamas, so. Then that way, people won't keep saying, why do you always wear the same clothes? Well, now this is gonna be the outfit that I wear all the time, <laughs> just, just, just so you know. When I'm at home, this is gonna be my outfit. And I got the Twilight Zone sort of actually underneath. And then, so yeah, this is the baby cap, so it's a cheek because I... I have a lot of toques, but they're, like, all old, like, six, seven years old. They're falling apart, so I'm like, I need to get a toque for winter, so. I got a toque, and I would say that's for my birthday as well. And, like, I could lie about it and be, like, not tell you guys that I'm getting it, but I'm not going to do that, because once in a while, you got to splurge, and once in a while, you got to get stuff for yourself. And, like I said, at least I'm buying clothes and I'm not buying like dolls and figurines and stuff like that because that's not going to keep you warm at night. <laughs> I have so many dolls. I was even telling the kids that I wanted to get 
telling me the kids that I wanted to get a lamb chop stuffed animal. Because <laughs> I love lamb chops. I grew up on that show. I actually have a lamb chop straight down there on the toy people roll. Because that's uh, the cat toy. <laughs> so we were putting it in the activity set. <clears throat> but for like a big stuffed animal, that's like. 50 to 60 dollars for a lamb chop stuffed animal so i'm not gonna buy see like at least yes i do spend a lot of money on things but at least i'm not being stupid and buying 60 dollars for a stuffed animal or like spending a thousand dollars on shoes <laughs> it's like no 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 so that's why i go yes i'm spending money but at least it's not stupid things at least it's going to keep me warm because winter is coming, and uh, already down here it's like cold, so now I don't even, ha even have my hood up anymore because now I got layers on. So, I mean, they're actually pretty, the material is actually not that bad. So, yeah, so that's what I got. But I do want to show you one thing that another thing that I've been talking about that I've been wanting for a long, long, long time, but I'm not going to buy it. I was tempted to buy it instead of getting less, but then I'm like, since Spirit Halloween is open, I'm just going to buy stuff from Spirit Halloween and not have to pay for the shipping cost. <laughs> so, uh, let's see if I could find it now. Every... Hmm. Uh... Sorry, I'm trying to type at the same time. Because I'm always talking about the sweater, so I kind of want to show you guys the sweater at least. So, <clears throat> this is the one that I want to get. And it's actually from Wish. So, we'll have to get Wish again. So, I'm going gonna, gonna to put this photo... Oops. Does Wish not have any more? <laughs> oh, this is a shirt. Where's the sweater? I don't want more shirts. I need sweaters. Because it's... Or is it only a shirt? Maybe it's only a shirt. Just <clears throat> so, I always, like I said, for, like, a lot of people just buy uh, design pattern or, like cheap uh not cheap but like something that has no value to their clothes or like band stuff and all that which is great but for me it's my heroes so for like well maybe not heroes but my <clears throat> my addictions <laughs> it's pretty cougar and a uh, phantom so i was actually thinking of saying should i, should I change my username to phantom freddy instead but then problem with that is that i've already done so many phantom story collages and if i had phantom if i change it it's just going to confuse people adding the number on i don't think it confuses people so <clears throat> don't forget i'm going to make this a poll too i want to know how many people are obsessed over freddy cougar is it just me because <laughs> i don't think so like i said i've been obsessed over freddy before I started smoking. So I was like at least 10 or 11 I think. Because I remember uh, going over to my best friend's place. And her older brother would scare us with the claw. And I'm like, why are you trying to scare me? You know I love Freddy Cougar. <laughs> I'm going to be, I'm chasing him. And I'm chasing him in his sleep, going after him, hunting him down and making out with him rather than <laughs> him coming in. So, no, that's not it. If he comes into my dreams, I'd be running after him, hunting him down, making out with him <laughs> rather than letting him come attack me. <laughs> and then my uh, my friend's bro uh, brother was laughing his head off. He's like, what? That's the first time I've ever heard <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Freddy Krueger does not scare me. You guys already know. 
<laughs> but yeah, I'm not going to say it too much because I don't want <laughs> I don't want people to bother me about that. You guys know my obsession with Freddy. It's more than obsession. Yeah, so remember too, I was talking about uh, clothes that I wanted to get offline. So this is one of them. It's not going higher. So that was one of the pretty cougar sets that I wanted to get to sleep. But this cost $50. And so I paid 40 pretty much almost 40 bucks for mine. Uh, I guess it's only a shirt. That sucks. <laughs> I'm looking at pretty cougar sweaters. I guess I'll have to go back and look at things on Wish. Because I'm like, I'm kind of curious. I, I think there's more Freddy Krueger stuff than there is Phantom of the Opera. Because Phantom of the Opera is not as big as it used to be. Like, because of Freddy Krueger, they just did that last movie not a couple years ago. So, that's why it's still kind of big again. <clears throat> and people are like, just getting into Freddy, so... Yeah, so it looks like it's only a sweater. That sucks. It's only a shirt. That sucks. Oops, no, I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> well, I love that other thing, too, that they say, follow your dreams. Oh, it's, yeah, so I saw a shirt at uh, Spirit Halloween, and it said, um... <laughs> Follow your dreams, and I had Freddy Krueger with the claw, and I thought that was cool, but it was like twenty four ninety nine. So I'm like, that's why I chose this because I was like, at least it's pajamas, something different, something different, something different. <laughs> like I said, if they had more Phantom of the Opera stuff there at Spirit Halloween, like the whole section that they do for Halloween, <laughs> I'd be broke. <laughs> Okay, so my Phantom shirt that with the original Phantom that cost me I think it was forty or fifty dollars. So I did kind of spend a lot on that shirt, but it was the original classic. You guys have seen me wear it. I still gotta put away my laundry. <laughs> I can't find any of my clothes. Um huh. Yeah, so I guess it's only a shirt. That sucks. That sucks. Do, 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 do. Here we go. <clears throat> Everybody has an addiction. Mine just happens to be Freddy Keeger. <laughs> and I already have. The shirt that says, I'm that crazy girl that's in love with Freddy Gear. <laughs> see, so, like, when I see, because, like I was saying before, I saw at Walmart, there was a Freddy Cougar shirt. <clears throat> but it's just the claw in, in the middle, and this is Nightmare on Elm Street, and that's it. I'm like, at least this one, it kind of has a little more graphic to it than that. I mean, it was cheaper, but not that cheap. But yeah, and now I gotta find uh, <laughs> find one about Phantom. I guess I could always make my own, but I'm just too lazy to do that. Cause you guys know I do collages, so I could like always make my own design for a shirt and then get it custom made into a shirt. But that's gonna be freaking expensive, <clears throat> and that's gonna take way too much work. <laughs> way too much work. But yeah, finally got new pajamas. I am so glad. Oops. So I'm gonna put this on my uh what is it called? My community tab. And then so yeah, I don't know what time I'll go to get up at because I'm planning on sleeping in. It's already four AM. Jeez. <laughs> and I haven't done anything. All I did was 
try to make space in my fridge for my food and like warm up my food in the air fryer and like that's pretty much it. <laughs> I have not been I've been smoking I guess <laughs> but even then it hasn't been that many smokes I haven't done any dishes that's why I took the nails off too I'm like I can't do my dishes with those freaking nails so <clears throat> I do have the nails here so I'm hoping that it will stick on again when I Change my outfits tomorrow, today. That won't be in live, though. That will be in a vlog. Um. So, yeah. Now I'm going to go to my community tab. Oops. On YouTube. And upload it so you guys can see. The photos of what I got. So, yeah. <laughs> And I know people are like, you don't have to tell people why you're spending money. But I'm like, yeah, I kind of do. <laughs> Not just for them, but it's also for me. I'm also reminding myself I got a splurge. And, like, a lot of people, what they use their money on is, what, jewelry, <clears throat> makeup, uh, clothes, like, designer bags. And here I am spending cheap, <laughs> cheap clothes. <laughs> Uh, that's that's uh that's the one other thing. That's why it's like in the spirit Halloween thing you actually see the uh pretty cougar backpack, but it's made out of leather, so I don't want it because it's made out of leather. But <clears throat> otherwise I would get it's too small anyways, you can't really put anything in it. Um so Alright, I just warmed up my food and now I've been so busy talking to you guys. <laughs> See, I never, I never stopped talking. Oh, so here's the other Japanese guy. I can't pronounce his name. <clears throat> I've actually done a video on him. On my YouTube channel saying this is how I'm learning Japanese. And nobody made any fake accounts about him, but for Chi, <laughs> yeah, they did. I don't know. I still don't get that. Still don't get it. And he hasn't told me if it was him or not, so right now I'm, I'm thinking it wasn't him at all. <clears throat> it's just, uh, fakes. <laughs> fakes. Because I even said, I even asked him in like comments in his videos and sent messages and stuff like tagged him, never responded. So I'm like, okay, fine. It's probably wasn't him or else he's just being a jerk. But either way, he didn't say happy birthday to me. So, <laughs> and he's going to the military anyway. So it's not like anything's going to happen <laughs> to all the, the fake chi accounts. <laughs> I don't think I have to do the whole background of that. You guys should know. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, so now I, that's why I'm like, now I'm thinking, no. I'm just joking when I'm calling him a jerk because he didn't say happy birthday, obviously. I still like him, duh. <laughs> it's been over a year, been over a year and a half probably by now. I don't know, since his first channel. Since his first video, so I am going to post it now. Some stuff that you could see. What I bought, what I want. Everybody wants something. <laughs> Everybody wants something. Like I said, I'm also buying a gift for um, my family's kid for their birthday. And it's pretty expensive, so... Buying all this stuff for me and then buying something expensive for somebody that I love, too, <clears throat> makes me feel pretty good. Because I've never been able to afford stuff like that. But like I said, now I'm not really paying debt off anymore. Like, just to Capital One. That's pretty much it when I go over. But I haven't been. So, that's a good thing. Paid it all off. So, yeah. I don't know, though. Like I said, I'm... Somebody may end up telling me I, I still owe money, so who really knows, but <clears throat> people do that. Like I said, there's a... one credit card that I had many, many, many years ago, and they tracked me down. 
They tracked me down. And then I was trying to tell them, well, it was your fault. You gave me a credit card when I was underage. Because <laughs> it was for Sears. Yeah, I think it was for Sears. So, <clears throat> for the new people that don't know the story. <laughs> just so just so I can make your day, maybe. So, yeah, this is why I had a lot of debt. <clears throat> I had one credit card that I signed up for in the mall when I was, like, in high school still. And they approved me for it, but it was for the Sears outlet store, which doesn't even exist anymore. <laughs> so, I was living in North Vancouver at the time, and then I moved out here. And then I completely forgot about it. It's not like I was trying to, like, not pay my debt off. But I was underage, so I'm like, hey, now I could go buy all these clothes and everything that I want. Buying gifts for everybody. And then they're like, yo, like... Four thousand dollars whatever and I'm like what so it took a couple of years to pay off I don't think it was a four thousand I probably I think it was like a thousand or two thousand something like that that I owed but I totally forgot about it and then they tracked me down and they were like we're we gonna pay this and then my mom got so pissed off at me I'm like well this is their they gave me the card when I was under <laughs> <laughs> but I didn't want to argue with them about it. I was just like, I'm just going to pay the damn thing off. I don't care. So then I paid it off. <clears throat> but it's just like, wow. Even old credit cards that you think you don't have anymore, if you have old credit cards, double check to see if you owe them any money because they can track you down, which kind of sucked. But I did pay that off, and then I had an old credit card. Another old credit card that I was using for me and my ex and my cats. I'm not asking for help when I got these conditions. And then that wrapped up and then that took a couple years to pay off. And then I got another credit card and then that one also went up because <laughs> I'm like, I could buy whatever I want. It's just credit. <laughs> I could just pay it back. <clears throat> and then, yeah, so now, and then I finally had one last card, and then they wouldn't accept my money, and they never messaged me back. So I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'm debt-free, and no, I still haven't got anything yet. But I am putting money aside in case they contact me, and I am trying to get a hold of them. So, like, I've already sent a couple of emails, never heard back, so I gotta write them a letter, mail it off. Because it's like in Ontario somewhere. Because they won't tell me how much I owe. And they're not accepting the money that I'm trying to give them. So it's like. And then nobody's contacting me. <clears throat> so I'm like okay well I guess I'm debt free. Or they figured out that I probably wouldn't pay it off. So <laughs> they just. They just ignored me. But usually you get a letter. That's your thing. Because I know for my last two. My last two old credit cards. I got a letter saying. That I paid it all off, and that if anybody ever contacts me, that it's all paid for, and I still have those letters. But, uh, yeah, so you could get yourself into a lot of trouble if you, uh, <laughs> get into a lot of debt, like I have. <clears throat> Which is crazy, because I was like, oh, I'm debt free now, and then all of a sudden I was like, nope, I'm not debt free now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then I, there's so many times where I got so much money and I could have used that to pay off the debt, but I didn't know. So it was, yeah, it was pretty bad. <laughs> but at least now I I have my debt under control. I don't have savings or anything like that. Cause like I said, I go day by day. <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to save 10 years from now if I'm not going to be here. And I know people are like, well, if you don't think that way. If you think that way, then you're not going to be here in 10 years. I'm like, no, I'm just staying in the yard. <laughs> so I don't want to be here when I'm 60 or 70 years old. I have enough health issues as it is. But, I mean, if I am here, obviously, I'm going to I'm gonna put it through. But I'm not going <clears> to... <throat> that's why I'm like, that's why I'm not planning ahead with all that stuff. Like, whatever happens. By that time, like, getting my what do you call it, pension, and saving for that, and all that stuff, I'm just like, I, I'm not gonna bother with it, because if I'm not here, what's the point? 
But, I mean, I could still be here, yeah, but, <clears throat> I mean, and I've already told people, I've already told you guys, I've already told my friends, my family, if anything ever happens to me, I already have, I'm already an organ donor, although they probably can't take any of my <laughs> organs. <laughs> probably not my teeth, they don't. And, uh, yeah, just give my body to the city, because <laughs> apparently... Sorry, I always forget to warn you guys when I talk about this stuff. So, apparently, because my dad, like I said, his partner passed away. And they wanted a lot of money for my dad that my da dad can afford. And then, so, he just said, well, I can't afford it, so just do what you want with the body. <laughs> so, that's, why I'm, that's why I'm telling everyone, I'm like, if that if it ever happens to that, <clears throat> that's, what, that's what you say, just... Have the hospital take care of it. <laughs> Get make it be somebody else's problem. So <laughs> make make him then that way I could still laugh after I'm gone. <laughs> no, just kidding. Uh, I'm so tired. So yeah, this is a shirt that I uh this is a hat that I want. What I bought. So this is why I'm spoiling myself. Another reason is because I don't know how long I'm going to be here for, so I gotta make every single day camp. So <clears throat> I gotta buy the small little things that can be the little joy in my life, like Freddy Krueger and Phantom of the Opera. Literally, whenever I get something that's from either of those, it's like literally my whole year. So like that's why I was like when I was at uh, Spirit Halloween, I'm like, this is my Disneyland. <laughs> I love it there. <clears throat> it's just checking out the classrooms and all that. It's too bad they don't have the dressing rooms anymore. They haven't had that since COVID. So. Uh oh, my battery is dying. Well, I guess I'm going to end this video here. <laughs> so, <clears throat> talk to you guys tomorrow when I wake up. We will go live an hour afterwards. You're on Phantom Stories.